Hola, hola. Hello, guys. Meow. Meow. Oh my gosh, you're jumping. Jumping. Come on, I prepared all the crystals in here for you to balance all your chakras. And she scratched me. <clears throat> I was putting crystals next to her and she scratched me. I put it in a line, like on the bed. All the crystals, guys. I created a crystal grid before I left yesterday. I left yesterday, guys. I left my house, this place yesterday to buy fruits and I'm like, I'm coming back in five minutes. I'm coming back in five minutes. I'm just going to buy fruits and come back. <laughs> and I put also a healing frequency music for cats to like make them feel better once I'm not here and also to like balance their energies because I kind of feel like they need some balancing. <clears throat> I'm talking about you. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to balance my, my chakra as well. Hello. Yeah, guys, look. Look, I, I need a body scrub because basically, I need a body scrub because I burned all only my like arms in the first days, even though I, I I didn't expose myself that much to the sun. I just like it was just you know not that not not that I burned, but it's just like look, yeah. It's okay. I just need the body scrub, so I'm going to do it later on. Um, and yeah, and a lot of kangen water hydration. So, so uh, you're not coming here for the crystals? Okay. Okay, I'm going to use this crystal then. So then, guys, I left. Um, okay, so Mexican adventures. Okay, so I made I made a video yesterday about why am I here. By the way, guys, I made an amazing. Look at that! Look at that bowl. This bowl is from somewhere I don't remember from where, but my sister gave it to me when she was somewhere on adventures. I'm not sure if it's Sama. If you're watching it, where is it from? <laughs> Costa Rica. Or where, where was it? <laughs> but I remember it was from some trip and it's so beautiful. It's coconut, obviously, and handmade painting, like it's painted inside. Um, mm. Basically, I wanted to buy fruits yesterday. So I went yesterday to buy fruits for five minutes and I came back today. And now I'm eating those fruits. Okay, I have papaya, banana, I have granola, coconut milk. Mm. That's very nice. Wow, guys. Mm -hmm. Heaven. Next time I'm, I'm making my own granola because I used to always make my own granola at home. But today I was like, okay, I'm going to buy, but it needs to be perfect. <laughs> so basically I met, I met someone, I, guys, in Mexico, let's talk about Mexico, okay? Mexico is crazy, it's beautiful. There are so many different like vibes in Mexico, that's why also, I'm now in, in Playa del Carmen, Carmen, and I'm like, mm, I like it in here, <laughs> but... I want to explore other places as well because I like Mexico is so diverse. It's big and it's so diverse. Like really, a lot of different like vibes in different cities. And for now, I'm here, but I already am going to explore Merida tomorrow. And I'm going somewhere else as well. Mm, Tulum. I already been twice because mm, it's very close. So basically. I'm just going to explore it and see if I want to stay here for longer mm. or go to Costa Rica or maybe come back to Spain and yeah just exploring 
I kind of feel like I would like to visit also US, but well, let's see, let's see. So basically, I realized something super interesting about Mexico. About this place, I cannot talk about all Mexico because it can be so different. But what about Playa? Playa del Carmen, Caramelo. Caramelo! Oh my gosh, you should be. In... I don't know what are the what are the name what are the names of those those guys like what do, do they do you have a name? You don't you don't know? It doesn't matter. You don't like labels. Okay. I feel like you're caramelo. <laughs> I feel like you are caramelo. You look like caramelo, no? I don't like it. Okay. Oh, she doesn't like anything. Maybe she does, but it's just her face. Are you a Virgo, actually? Oh my gosh, she's a Virgo. Damn. She's probably a Virgo, that's why she has that face. Like me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, guys. Basically, I had a theory. Yesterday, when I was filming a video, I had a huge realization that those cats are like two version, like two aspects of me. <laughs> One is like peaceful. And I was like, universe, you're smart, you're smart. Mm -hmm. Always sending some reflections. <clears throat> In everything there is a reflection. So there, one of them is like, <clears throat> this is just a second, I need coconut milk. So it, the one, one of them is like peaceful and the other one is very dramatic. So <clears throat> that's me. That's me basically. But I'm not traumatic in a like a yeah, I'm not going to continue that. Uh well, performing arts, I love drama, let's be honest. But no like positive, playful drama, not like no, not like rude or something. So basically, um let me eat a little bit of granola. Mm. Wow. Okay. So. Okay. okay. Rodrigo is sleeping. Alright, oh, yeah. Mexico. Mexico. Why am I here? I spit on myself a while. Okay. I stopped eating, guys. It's going to wait. So I am here because I've been really drawn to be here. I've been really drawn to and also I connected to people that <clears throat> kind of like were very synchronistic in terms of my intentions and I really was drawn to explore Mayan Mayan vibes, Mayan culture, Mayan wisdom, Mayan teachings and, and all, all the beautiful things in, in this land and also Aztecs and in, in general the, I was just drawn to be here, that's it, I just knew it, that's it, I wanted to be close to Tulum, I really felt the calling also there are um, there is one energetic vortex in Mexico. There are eight in total in, on planet Earth. And two of them, I already visited three from eight. And I say that I'm going to create the ninth one that is going to be a moving energetic vortex. Okay, <laughs> let me explain that. So basically, officially, there is eight energy, energy vortexes on planet Earth. Uh, one is, I don't, I don't know, remember if I know all of them, but there are pyramids in Egypt, obviously, there are energy vortexes. Uh, <clears throat> they, we can maybe explore in another video what are energetic vortexes. If you don't know, you can Google it also. It's just a powerful energy vortex, okay? Energy that is very multiplied because of a lot of events happening in this specific mm, point 
uh, and also like earth has different points of um, energies that some of them hold a higher frequency so um, in uh, Egypt there's pyramids one in England there are two energy vortexes in England that's why I was really drawn to go to England since I was little I knew that I'm going to live there I had a vision of living there not like living there all the time but like for some time and that is what happened I, I left there for for four years basically and um, and I visited both of those energy vortexes so I visited already three the fourth one is California uh, the fifth one is Arizona. People say that in Arizona there's always also a very powerful energy, very healing, very, very powerful energy in terms of like shifting things in your life, manifestation, uh, aligning with yourself, aligning with the source. Because when you align with yourself, self, you are aligned with the source. You come back to the God within, to the God, Goddess within, right? And then uh, there is wait, oh, how many we have? <clears throat> Egypt, uh, da, Arizona, California, five. One is in um, Chichen Itza, which is here in Mexico. Uh, and this is six. There is two more. Two more. Wh which, which one? Uh, there are two more. They may, maybe it will come, okay? Maybe it will come. I'm not sure if there are not two in Mexico, actually. I'm not sure if there are not two energy vortexes in Mexico. But there, here is a lot of powerful energies as well. And also England, because I lived in England for four years. And England also has uh, the heart chakra of the planet. The heart chakra is in England. I always say that England is a bridge for souls. It's like a bridge. It puts you on the right path. Um, that's how I see it and that's how a lot of people also that I connected to in England when we talked about it they, they see it as well um, that it kind of like is not the goal to be there everyone that I met in England is like as if there to have some intention some purpose and it's like kind of like puts you on the right path kind of like awakens you it's very also multicultural but obviously it's all in an individual experience, so it doesn't have to be that way for you. Um, so yeah, let me just drink, drink a little bit of coconut water again. Mm. Coconut milk. Actually, I want to make my own coconut milk because I used to always make homemade o like oat milk, arena, well, uh, almond, um, um, almond, <laughs> Al almendra. Almond, <laughs> uh, cocoa, um, yeah, oats, and everything. Like I made peanut milk, uh, walnuts, cashew, everything you can make homemade. It's the best, guys. Just pure homemade without any any uh, extra ingredients that are unnecessary. So basically, I met someone with who I had some adventures in here, and. I'm like, you already know that I'm picky, so, and he's like, I know, <laughs> because I was choosing, like, milk for a few minutes, and then the granola for another few minutes, because that's why I don't like to buy, like, some of the things from shops, and, like, I'm very, like, picky in terms of, like, what I buy where, because of the quality of the food, like, the ingredients they put in there, that's why the best is just, like, for me, pure like I'm in general like raw mainly raw I don't want to say that I'm 100% raw because if I want to eat something something that is not raw then I'm okay with that um so um, so basically uh that is another topic that maybe I will make a separate video about the transformation of my body and also that on kangen water which I already mentioned uh about right I mentioned already kangen water what is like what what is it and i will make a separate video showing you the machine and the prefiltration because on this water oh my gosh guys you really don't feel hungry that much and you really need less food because the water is all you need like the people 
from this movement, the, um, the leaders from this movement, they literally drink this kangen water the whole day and they have one meal a day, raw vegan meal a day and that's it. And they are super strong guys, they have good muscles. So it shows that where do you get your protein from doesn't apply if you know what I mean. <clears throat> yeah, so I kind of I'm transitioning to that as well, especially being in a warm place. It allows me to feel more like aligned eating just raw food. Um, and that's how I feel at my best, actually. So yeah, anyway, energy vortexes. That's why I was just drawn to beer for a little while, let's see, or for a longer while. Um, I actually also start like I also started also um, taking into consideration that I might have here like um, build my own place to live for a couple of years, but like not like a regular place. It's going to be something different. I would like to have my house in a round shape, not a square round. I love circles, always loved cir circles. And w once I will be already in the physical manifestation of making the rituals for other people, because that is my intention to make rituals for other people, um, in circle, always in circle. So basically, yeah, it is an interesting place in here. It is a completely different energy, guys, in, in Mexico. It is, you can really feel it. Yeah, I was super drawn to Tulum because of electronic music, because of the events that occur in there. It's, it's really an interesting place. And I am, I am very into electronic music, not only, but I love electronic music. It's so shamanic and it's so cosmic at the same time because shamanic means that it's very grounding but also it shoots the energy up to the cosmos because it's because it's always unity between both like the tree it's rooted it's grounded but it keeps expanding always as below so above as above as above so below do you understand so shamanism is all about it's everything it's a wisdom of life of being human but also understanding that you are a spiritual being and and how to take care of planet and how to take care of nature and how to heal your body how to use herbs and plants in your um in your favor and um, it's just everything it's just wisdom it's alignment with the source alignment with yourself so um so me, I really would love to visit, visit Peru. Yeah, really, I want to. So let's see, let's see how it flows. Um, I might come back to Europe faster. I might spend some time here, who knows? So in general, Mexico. Mexico is, is an interesting place for me, like, <clears throat> especially here. Because like the manifestation is a bit different in here. I feel like the energy is, energies are different. It's very adventurous. Like every day is completely different. Like I literally go outside with an intention to buy fruits and come back. And I just like experience like so many unexpected things that are amazing. And I'm kind of open to that because I have my intentions and they are manifesting and I... I also needed some kind of like time to ground my energies in here and it's still in the process mm, but like I'm still open to have adventures in here and like to to get to know people and like hear like opportunities and different communities and I, I already know that they do so many different ceremonies and it's such a, an amazing place um, that's why a lot of people are so drawn to be here, it's so drawn to be in Mexico because it's also um, an easy place currently to access um, if we think about pandemic and all the restrictions. 
and that was like from the beginning a place where people would travel to because it was an easy destination and I know a lot of people who moved here and I started realizing that wow like actually I didn't pay attention even though that so many people are want to visit this place and are drawn to be here and suddenly I started realizing when my sister like told me and, um, and and I started talking to people and I'm like damn like really Mexico is such a such a powerful place uh, to be um, and also people guys people are so amazing in here like people everywhere are amazing of course like of course people all the people are beautiful inside and um, it's all about you and how you see them also how you see the the reality but oh my gosh like the first few days me being here I cried of course as always and I just went for a walk and I was like wow it's a completely different reality in here it's so different it doesn't feel like far away it feels like familiar like very close to me and like that's how I also felt is going to be here um, so it's nothing like surprising um, in a sense that it felt distant or like oh my gosh I didn't expect that no like feels like yeah that is it that is it that's how I felt it and but and also like I really felt that people in here are so sweet and different Obviously, like, pe people can be different everywhere and you you need to always be, like, conscious, present. And and I always say, like, like, I'm manifesting only good things and I'm always, like, protected because I really feel like I am and I know when to, when to step back. I already have had uh, some situations in here that were, like, okay... <clears throat> Uh, no, it's okay, I'm fine. So, you know, like, you need to always, um, you need to always, anywhere you go and travel, be like, just know yourself, basically, and know when to say, no, thank you. That's like, you know? So, but I'm very open, so I'm like, observing, exploring, and people are like, very different to, for example, England, and I don't want to compare, but I will. <laughs> I don't want to compare, but I will. It's like, it's not a comparing to like say oh these people are uh, and these people are amazing no like every, every we are all like kind of the same inside like the essence and our needs human needs and whatever are similar same I would say but just like the layers external layers can differ in our experiences and our backgrounds and the way we, we were bro brought up or the way we work on ourselves the way we uh, ch make choices in life can be different but <clears throat> <laughs> but um and yeah and I really felt this like energy from those people like wow I really cried I felt like they are so grateful for everything they have this like really cute energy mm, there is shadow as well of that obviously because um like the system also is not perfect in here uh, like anywhere and obviously I always see the light and the shadow um, of the places I go to uh, in terms of like system and how everything functions and how people feel and all that but it's also like a very collective energy right um, anywhere we go there is like light and shadow um, so it is what it is at the end you know just it is what it is but it's but it's amazing to be also aware of the things that can be shifted because I actually spoke about judgment with myself like I had those realizations to talk about that and with my friend, two friends and I said that judgment in some cases is also part of three-dimensional reality which is the physical human reality and obviously everything is one, everything is uh, when you act, when you live from a pure presence, a state of consciousness, everything just is the way it is, and you just accept it. That's how you reach alignment and peace within, right? But it doesn't mean that in the three-dimensional reality, external reality, we cannot judge things in order to shift them. So this judgment doesn't come from like, oh, this person is wearing this and that. Like, what are they wearing? Or oh, like, um, this person is. 
oh like well, look how she looked like whatever like it's not like a judgment of like a superficial or whatever just to make them feel bad or oh this person behaved like that la, la, la. i don't know it's just like judgment in some cases brings justice brings changes for good so my friend um said something like oh we shouldn't judge them much and like of course we shouldn't and like i am all about like peace and oneness consciousness and um and i i don't think we like it's good to judge but depends on the intention and i realized that judgment can be good and bad like everything else like judgment can be because we live in a dual reality so everything has light and darkness like judgment can be like a bit dark but it also can be like helpful like it, so for example you see certain things occurring in the system in the environment in the society you see certain things and you just like mm, okay i accept it i accept the way it is so i'm not resisting the present moment i'm not resisting what is because resistance towards what is creates more resistance and and like blockages um so you accept what is and then you you say okay what can be shifted how we can change it how we can create a better system or a better solution to what is in the present moment so what can i do personally individually um like on an individual level and what can we do on the collective level to uh, help the planet um, be in its best conditions right so we can actually enjoy being here as humans souls in the human form um <laughs> So basically, uh, basically, that I wanted just to just say about the judgment. It's really important to to know that sometimes judgment is good because it's knowing what is good, what is bad. It's like there is no good and bad from a consciousness point of view. It's like everything just is, but there are some things that are actually can be harmful, and you should know what is harmful and what is actually. Uh, an act from integrity, act from alignment, knowing yourself and knowing what is actually right. Um, so I just wanted to say it. So I really felt like the energies in here are so beautiful, like anywhere, obviously, anywhere we are, the energies are beautiful because we create the experience. So anywhere you go, you are home and you can create the beautiful just experience for yourself and just appreciate everywhere you go, right? Because why not? If you go somewhere, then enjoy it. So, um, it's me. she's meowing. Caramela. I really want to, I really feel like calling her Caramela or like Caramela. I, want, I need to check if it's he or she. But yeah, uh, actually with one of them, I have like really confused feelings. I Because like, it looks like he, but then like, it's not like fully he. Hmm, interesting. Maybe like both. Maybe it doesn't identify with anything. Like, yeah. So, uh, basically, yeah, and I just, and I was insane. Like, I cried when I arrived to Mexico and I was like, damn, like these people, I really like, they enjoy life. I really always resonated with, with their, like, just like colorful approach to life. Obviously, it's not always colorful, but it is in the in general, like the generally speaking, they really like appreciate it. I don't know, they like I see they are like very grateful people. That's what I see. But also like what we see is also a reflection of us. So yeah, I just kind of like notice the the differences in some of the societies and cultures and it's not a bad thing. It's just some some societies can be less grateful as a collective kind of consciousness and it is completely normal to like see it and acknowledge it so i kind of feel like sometimes people who need to live a simple life uh, and live like day by day and maybe have less um in terms of like wealth or something they learn how to be fully in the present moment and like actually enjoy the small things um but yeah, that's just like one of the perspectives uh, that I picked up on there that the people are really sweet, like open, they're like very helpful. Um, but obviously, I ex what, everything that I say, I experience like in other places, obviously, because that's the way you are is a reflection always and the way you are 
always is going to be manifested in the external reality. So I hope you get my point. It's all just like how you see things. But there was like a slightly like a shift, something that these people have and and some of the places that I went, went to and visited didn't have. So, um, yeah, I felt like a very warm energy, very warm. That's basically my, that's basically my energy because um, Arabs also are like that. And I, that's why I always resonated with like warm cultures um, because I'm half Syrian. So I really always resonated with my Syrian side much more. I always wanted to be warmth. I always wanted to to um, just like be around culture that is like warm. And the, you can really feel the difference in the energy. Because like cold countries, it's because everything is like literal, right? When it's cold, you go more inwards. So you sometimes have more layers and you go more like inwards. It's just like you go inwards, that's it. You, it's like the more sun, the more warmth, the more people are so open and the more like the energy is like extroverted. Um, it's more open because of the warmth, because of the sun. It has a powerful, powerful information. Like the sun codes are so powerful. Um, so like cold places have, have their own amazing vibe as well. Like the coziness and the rain has its own amazing vibe. Uh, but yeah, there is this tendency of being more, you know, like in going inwards, like because you're constantly, literally in inward, in somewhere inside, like in your house or um, or in other people's houses. So even I spoke about that with my sister that, like because people don't go outside as much when it's cold, they don't even connect to so many people. Like they connect, but they kind of like stay more in their house, so they have like small, maybe smaller circles uh obviously that can happen also in the warm places but you get my point um i'm going to just mm. wow it's so powerful mm. wow guys Wow. Yeah. So basically, um, Mexico is, yeah, I really felt that cute energy. But I feel it everywhere. But I think here is like, I don't know, something else. Like there is this connection, like really warm. And like, like Lebanese people, when I spoke with my mom about that, it's like, she said, yeah, like always remember like, like, Lebanese people like Arabs as well are like that and like I'm like yeah like I love Lebanese people I love Le I love Lebanon it's because big part of my family lives there so we, we 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 would go to visit and actually when I came to Mexico my dad wants to go with my sister there and they're like they're like are you going with us to Lebanon to visit our family and like uh -huh, no I just came here but then I'm like mm, maybe <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll leave and just go with them and then I'll stay in Lebanon. <laughs> I really would love to like also, those people went through a lot as well in terms of like the circumstances in the country, um, terrible. But yeah, but people are so sweet and they, they really are amazing. So that is it. Um, Mexico, Mexico really feel, I feel a huge connection. Well, when you're connected to everything, you feel connection with everything. <laughs> but yeah, for some, you, you, you just, there are places that you feel more aligned or more connected because it's normal. We have like memories of our past lives and also like our energy might feel somewhere better than in other places. And it's completely normal. Like you can appreciate being everywhere, uh, but it's completely normal to feel somewhere more, um, more like closer like more like your this is your energy that's why you choose to live somewhere it's because you really feel like this res re energy resonates with you um and yeah <laughs>
I have this crystal. <laughs> I love this crystal. I received it from my friend before I left. We had like a, an amazing gathering party before I left. Oh, it's so powerful. We created an energy vortex. Everyone was high on Kangen water. Guys, everyone was really high on Kangen water. I, this is my intention for the rituals that I'm manifesting and connecting all the dots together. I don't know, I'll need probably a few more years. However, because I, my vision is quite complex. However, um, however, who knows? Maybe it will manifest faster because time is not linear and here things are manifesting really quick. And also because of my alignment and my manifestation powers and also the Kangen water that I'm drinking is really powerful. So yeah, um, that is, ah, and basically I went yesterday, um, I went yesterday to buy fruits and, and I came back today, but I had such an amazing time. I met someone really interesting um, and I was like, just going, I was so in the present moment, so I was like, okay, there was time when I really needed to like go into my space and that was like today, um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. but it was really magical because I had like I did yoga in the morning I really loved the fact that I could go to the beach and just that, do yoga in the morning on the beach and then swim in the water and dream life come on guys dream life and just come here and talk to you and that is also what I am all the time sharing um, with people and I, I have so many messages to people it's like endless but one of the things is, is just like your existence guys is everything I am that's the purpose of life I am and the thing is that for us humans <laughs> souls humans it's sometimes hard to process the fact that simply being is enough to to just create everything you want just be present just be i am that's it there is nothing more like it's, you, your existence is sacred is is love is infinite abundance is creation is is everything you need so you're you can create abundance from everything from just being you from like if you like doing something you can just like create a business based on that like i i came i love i love like really putting people on the right path and I think like this, I just like to suggest them things and like I like to see them in their full potential and I always when I like can suggest something sometimes I suggest and those people can take it or not and when I see that they really like doing something um, but they are not taking any action I kind of like inspire them to or, like give them some steps how they can actually take some action and and do something that they want to do, but they are not doing it. So yeah, I met an amazing friend before I came to Mexico. I asked my my Mexican friend from Wake Water Movement um, if she knows some more people, some more Mexican people with who I, you know, could connect, just to have them, just to maybe meet them when once I come here. And she um, so recommended me a few people, and I know that the people that she <laughs> recommends <laughs> recommended me people. Um, she was like, in, she had a menu, like, okay, what Marta would like? Okay, mm, okay, 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 let me send her this number. <laughs> and okay, and then she, she did, and um, I basically came and I, I connected to them, and <clears throat> And we felt so, so like aligned together. We were like shocked. I was shocked that we connected so well and shocking, but not shocking. It's normal when you are, whenever you, when you are aligned, that's the message guys. When you are in alignment, everything is in alignment. So it's just like, they are so amazing. And we experienced so many amazing moments together. Like we went to an uh, electronic music event here in Playa and damn, like I was dancing like crazy um this music was so cosmic electronic music full moon palms on the beach <sighs> guys no come on like i was just like wow 
gracias. Gracias, gracias, Madre Tierra. Oh, wow, I was just like, this is a joke now because I was just like screaming. I was like, la luna llena. <laughs> you know, because it was like, like new moon and people were like dancing. I was like, we were so grateful for the new moon. We were so grateful for the, the Mother Earth. We were so grateful for the music. Everything was so powerful. <laughs> mm. And and what? And I spoke to the artist later on. I was so I was like exchanging energies with her all the time when she was playing the music. She she was like, I always look for a few people that feel feel my music, and she was like, you felt it here, and I'm like, oh, of course, <laughs> connection to the source, and I slide on her on her music. I flight, I was like, thank you so, so much for being, for playing, like, keep creating, like, it was, it was amazing. And, and what? Yeah, guys, like, I want to say that I started saying something about those people. Yeah, those friends, Oof, wow. People in here, I want to say something more, but it's kind of, it's gone. I don't know, we just experienced a lot of amazing things. And... And yeah, and it's just like, wow, wow, powerful, powerful experiences in here. Mm. For those who tried candle water and damn it. My friend, because they're a couple, she, the female, yeah, she went through some activation. This water is really powerful, guys. This water is really, really powerful. So... So yeah, I want to say, I really cannot wait until she, she if she creates that. Um, Cause, whoa, I really wanted to say also like, I really love supporting people who just make something home, like handmade and like from their heart. I just had a, I had a strong intention, no more buying clothes from like, from whatever place, no more. I, I didn't do it like I, I was like gradually, when you change, you also start taking more conscious actions. That's what I want to say about clothes because she, she's an amazing, like, she really is good in sewing and like, um, creating her own stuff. That's what I was interested in as well in the past. And I thought at some point that I maybe will go into, um, fashion design, but I, but performing arts were always strongest, like stronger sound and movement. So basically, I'm like, damn, this is what she showed me, what she created was like so beautiful. I'm like, you need your own business from that. And you can start like really small steps, you know, and and people will buy it. People will buy it because people are becoming more conscious and they want to buy from small businesses like I do. And I know a lot of people that really pay attention to where they buy from. So I decided whatever I have, I have like, that's it i bought it already but i'm not going to buy any more anything from any place that is like i don't feel like a connection with like it's not special it's not um it's not like made from someone's like pure intention and like heart and i would rather support someone like small businesses or like vintage uh, shops or someone who's making their own clothes so, so you know it's just like being mindful where you put your energy and money and everything and also like when you wear it you really feel the difference I swear to god like everything is energy guys so you really feel the difference when you wear something that someone did like made handmade it's handmade so it's like really you feel it when you have it on you it's like wow it's so beautiful and paying for it is such a satisfaction because you know that you're supporting this person and you know that you support something that is so pure, like so amazing. So yeah, I really, I really want to, um, yeah, I just like, it's good to, to, I want her to like thrive in this business. I want her to thrive, basically. Uh, so, and, and all the people that have, have small businesses or like just are starting. Also another small business that I found, that I, 
got to know because of this friend is um, like a girl in Mexico that makes her hand like homemade um, beauty products and they're so amazing. I tried them like damn damn like that's how it starts it starts at home when you make things at home small things and then it expands like i worked part-time when i was studying in england in a shop like with beauty products and it was all vegan and very amazing sustainable and their ethics were crazy i learned as well a lot there and um and what i want to say it all started at home it all started at home basically like someone just started making homemade um, beauty products and just like give it to people then they, they started selling it slowly uh, like if someone would really like it they would like pay for it and it just expanded it just now it's like everywhere this shop and it's it's wow like they're doing a lot of amazing things also if some ingredient cannot be sustainable they just discontinue the product they just discontinue if can, they cannot find a sustain, sustainable way to uh, produce like vanilla uh, to add it to the products they discontinue so even even going even deeper with beauty products the best way is just to create your own at home i just run out of a toothpaste and i'm like i'm making my own again um that's it you know it's like just making your own things is the best sometimes it's good to buy as well of course like you can still buy from like nice places but yeah I think it's all everything about like just conscious life guys just conscious life I'm very picky and everything guys I'm so picky and I'm proud of it because I don't want anything random in my life like random can be but like not random depends what random like random okay but like depends what is the intention do you know what I mean? If I'm aligned with it or not, it's just like being consciously making the decisions about our life. But yeah, this is just my perspective. And I like mosquitoes really ate my legs. That's so crazy. And just legs. Okay, I don't want to say it because are they hearing? Maybe they are hearing it and they will come for the arms. Ah, don't go away. <laughs> go away, mosquitoes. Stop biting me. My legs are really... <laughs> they ate my legs. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, I just will accept it. But I I'm, a, I'm a perfectionist and I don't like when something is like not perfect. <laughs> but it's okay, yeah, this is my, this is my thing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, um, guys. Ha. Crystal crystal on my head and let's go let's carry on with this day creating other things and um i'm going to buy some products to make something homemade and uh, guys let's let's carry on let's create um let's create let's create let's create the life we want i love you <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> so yeah, enjoy your life, guys. Enjoy your life. I love you, and you just love yourself fully. You deserve it. Okay, damn it. <clears throat> you deserve to like feel love all the time. You are love, guys. Stop, stop, like, stop creating problems, please. If they're they don't exist in your life, like. Whoever is watching this, like, please make it simple. Align your chakras. Just like create something that you're that makes you happy. That's it, you know. That's it. <laughs> okay, I'm going. Um, I love you. And um, what can I say? <laughs> enjoy, enjoy being here on this channel. This channel is going to expand like crazy, like together with me because. I will never stop creating and this is just like a seed, a small dot, but I'm enjoying the moment. I'm enjoying the moment. Actually, it's not just a small dot. It's a huge dot. It's a black hole. There's so much information in here and so powerful. See, I always see a bigger picture. That's why I say it's a small seed because I always see like oh, something bigger. But no, actually, that's also sometimes... Uh, 
okay, yeah, I can see a bigger picture, but also I appreciate this present moment and what it is and everything and the process and the journey because it's huge already. Actually, it is huge. Every moment is, it's, it's, it's beautiful. <coughs> okay. So bye. So bye, me and Rodrigo. Rodrigo! <laughs> Rodrigo, he's such a vibe. Look at his crystals. I didn't want to put them on, but some, somehow he told me that he wants. Rodrigo, <clears throat> did you kiss a cat? <clears throat> My goodness. You have it in your mouth! Damn it, Rodrigo! <laughs> what happened to you? What happened to you? You have a romance in the cat, with the cat. You. Okay, we're not. Okay, we're just friends now then. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, we were just friends with Rodrigo. Okay. Anyways, bye. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your life, guys. I love you.